Hello, uh, this is Maliki from the Doc One First Year Team, and I'm going to explain today how you set up your drawings to uh, receive markers and also to put labels on your elevation drawings and set them up for your Doc One submissions. Now, first of all, I'm going to use the uh, ground floor plan, and I think if I zoom in here, you'll see that we have some window reference markers which you should have already set up uh, as part of your formative uh, submission just before the midterm break. One of the first things I would uh, ask you to check is that the scale of your plan is 1 to 50 because that makes the markers maybe look a little bit less dominant. Uh, one other thing that we need to do then is to check the elevations because the elevations for documentation do not need trees and people. So I'm going to go to the elevation tool, select it and go control A to select all my elevations. I'm then going to go control T and in the dialog box it opens up. I want you to go down to uncut elements and where you see fill uncut surfaces, change this to nothing. Then I want you to go down into the sun and shadows and uncheck sun shadow. And above that, check out also uncheck vectorial 3D hatching because we just want elevations that are going to be just uh, single line drawings. Once you've done that, click OK and then deselect the elevations. Now, if you have not got markers set up to reflect the external joinery, I would ask you to look back to the video uh, that was loaded up to Moodle under floor plans. So go onto the Moodle website, and uh, if you're not sure, go over that again and tidy up your plans, both on ground floor and first floor. We need these reference levels to be uh, up to date because the same kind of references will appear on our elevations. Okay, we've checked our scale. Um, I'm quickly going to go to the first floor plan and I'm just going to change the scale of that to 150 as well and accept that. I'm going to go back to the ground floor plan and what you really want to check then is go to the label tool and I want you to select the label tool and what you should do then is look at what layer this is on. It's, it's going to want to be on a layer that you can see and this layer here is documentation floor so you should check that this layer will be visible on the elevations because that is where we're going to show the uh, labels eventually. Now if I just click the label settings there's a few things to check out for you're going to actually say, well, the label refers to the window tool. You're going to change hit this uh, close to the content and preview. Change it to CAD image ID label. This font size, I think, is OK. If you uh, go down to the symbol layer label, you may have to change the background color to transparent uh, if you cannot see through it. So I'm going to do that at the moment. Just change it to transparent. And then I'm going to uh, just close that dialog box, OK, and close. Um, what I'll do next is uh, go to my one of my elevations and see what it's beginning to look like. And you can see now that it does not have any window references or labels, but it does have my materials. And it doesn't have any shadows or any fussy detail uh, to clutter the drawing. Another thing to check here would be the mesh that you see in elevation. Shift click, control T, and where you've got here, you may have a mesh that has got this little radio button. And I'm just going to click it to let you see what happens. And it makes an awful lot of kind of ridges appear. And this can make the elevation drawing look a little bit uh, fussy. And it may well look a little bit blotched when we print it out. So I would suggest selecting the mesh, control T and choosing all ridges smooth or 
user defined sharp seems to work as well. So if we click OK, and that's the result we get with a mesh. It's not so kind of uh, hatched and maybe reading too heavy on our final drawings. But we want to make our labels up here. So what I'm going to do now is go to my window tool. I'm going to select it. And I'm then going to select all the windows on this elevation by going Control A and then going Control T. And with any luck, if I click Label Window here underneath uh, at the bottom of the dialog box and click OK, I should get my labels to appear. If they don't, just check that your um, layer combination elevations will have the layer that the labels are on active. So for instance, if I go to la the label tool, my labels are on documentation floor because that's what they were on in my ground floor plan. If I go control L and I go to this layer combination elevations, documentation floor is turned on. Now in ground floor plan, you had under quick options and the view settings, the model view is 03 buildings, plans, markers. When you go to your elevations, you go to the settings, this is number 10 elevations. Okay? And you can change the settings for all elevations at one go, otherwise, just uh, you can do them separately. So, hopefully, you can have a go at that now and you'll see that your window references will appear and uh, we can see them clearly. The other thing we want you to do on the elevations is to do the risk matrix. And what I'm going to do here is just open up the object tool. If you go into the extra library, which I believe you will have loaded up to do the roof framing exercise, just click risk analysis. Click this tool. In the dialog box under preview and positioning, you'll probably have to rotate it. So just click there and click again to bring it round. And then just go below to the risk analysis and just address each of the, uh, the categories in order. So if I go wind zone, medium, and then with the flyout menu, just go to number of stories. And for each elevation, you can add the detail and just go through them and put in the relevant information, which I believe you may have worked out in construction systems in um, semester one. And once you've got that done, the uh, software will work out the risk score and we can basically uh, add this schedule to our drawings. So I'll just quickly go through this and make sure we've got something happening here. And I'm going to go to C, medium, yes. If I go to eaves width and maybe make it high, envelope complexity and I'm just going to change these just to show you how it works. Deck design will say it's uh, very high and then just go to suitable wall claddings and this is the software uh, perhaps backing up what you have already chosen or you may have to make a change and don't forget we're going to be over uh, a cavity. Click OK and then just click on the drawing and make sure that the risk analysis is on a layer that you can see. So I'm going to choose a layer and I'm going to put it on uh, documentation elevations. And there is my risk matrix on my drawing. And you students should do that for each elevation. Thank you and good luck.